NASA reports that the Voyager 2 probe is now in interstellar space, having left the protective bubble of the Sun's atmosphere, known as the heliosphere. At the far reaches of our solar system, where sunlight fades to a ghostly flicker and the solar wind becomes a whisper, Voyager 2 has once again crossed a boundary that inspires both awe and curiosity. This venerable spacecraft, launched in 1977 and already having made its mark on history by exploring the outer planets, is now transmitting new, unprecedented data from the edge of the heliosphere, the region where the influence of our sun ends and the interstellar medium begins. This silent crossing into a region dominated not by solar winds, but by charged particles and magnetic fields from the galaxy was the first physical measurement of its kind to be made with such precision. Before we continue, please like and subscribe to the channel for new updates. Voyager 2's entry into interstellar space is not just a geographical milestone, but a scientific revelation. Breaking through the heliopause, the invisible boundary where the pressure of the solar wind is balanced by the pressure of the galaxy's particles, the probe recorded sudden changes in its environment. One of the first and most striking signs was a sudden and sustained drop in the number of solar particles, high energy debris from the sun's breath. At the same time, instruments recorded a sharp increase in cosmic rays, particles coming from the depths of the galaxy. This surge confirmed that Voyager 2 had finally entered a space formed not by the sun, but by the wider cosmic environment. This event was a turning point, as it gave scientists a second set of data to compare with data from Voyager 1, which crossed the heliopause in 2012, but on a different trajectory and under different conditions of solar activity. Unlike Voyager 1, which encountered chaotic fluctuations in magnetic fields and particle density, Voyager 2's transition was smoother and provided a more complete picture. This is because Voyager 2 still had a working instrument for directly measuring solar wind plasma, a tool that Voyager 1 lost long before its transition. Thanks to this key instrument, the probe provided real-time data on the plasma environment, allowing scientists to pinpoint the moment when the solar wind disappeared and interstellar plasma took over. The probe recorded a striking change in plasma density and temperature. Inside the heliosphere, the plasma was warm and sparse, emanating from the sun. Outside, it was 40 times denser and much colder, but did not move outward. This interstellar plasma, formed by billions of years of evolution of supernovae and distant stars, filled the space steadily, without expanding. These observations helped confirm long-standing theories and cast doubt on others, especially those concerning the structure of the heliosphere itself. Magnetic measurements added to the mystery. As it passed, the magnetic field changed direction very slightly, unlike what Voyager 1 had observed. This suggests that the heliopause is not a clear surface, but a dynamic, fluctuating boundary formed by both the Sun's distant magnetic fingers and external galactic pressure. The fact that Voyager 2 crossed the boundary during a relatively calm period of the 11-year solar cycle may have allowed for cleaner and more accurate data. What the probe discovered at the edge of the solar system is not a passive transition layer, but an active zone of interaction, a cosmic handshake between our system and the galaxy. The probe recorded so-called interstellar shock waves, energy ripples caused by solar flares that reach the interstellar medium and interact with it, compressing the boundary and returning particles back into the heliosphere. These echo events allow scientists to understand how solar phenomena propagate far beyond the orbits of planets, affecting areas previously thought to be static. In this sense, Voyager 2 has become a deep space weather station, transmitting data from the front lines of an invisible battle between the Sun and the galaxy. The interstellar medium is not empty. It is filled with ionized gas, dust, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays, the remnants of stars that died long before our sun was born. Traveling through this ancient cosmos, the probe becomes a scout on behalf of humanity, sampling the pristine conditions of the wider galaxy. This data is not only academically valuable, 
it defines the boundaries of the bubble in which we live. The heliosphere protects Earth and other planets from galactic radiation. Understanding its strength, permeability, and structure will help explain how life began on Earth, and perhaps how it may arise in other corners of the universe. The timing of this data is also important. Voyager 2 is now more than 19 billion kilometers from Earth, and each signal from it takes more than 18 hours to reach us. Its power sources are running out, and its instruments are gradually shutting down. Nevertheless, even in the final stages of its mission, it continues to deliver some of the most important scientific discoveries of our time. Its ability to operate in such a distant and hostile environment is a testament to both engineering genius and humanity's unquenchable thirst for knowledge. The heliopause, as Voyager 2 has shown, is not a wall, but a curtain, porous, changing, and responsive. This changes our view of the solar system, not as a closed sphere, but as a fluid entity whose shape is determined by the influence of the entire galaxy. Voyager 2 has helped to define the boundary of influence where the Sun's magnetic fields and particles give way to forces far more ancient and powerful. Every particle it measures, every signal it sends, expands the map of the unknown world. These discoveries resonate in various disciplines, from astrophysics and planetary science to philosophy. For engineers, Voyager 2 is an example of how to build machines that don't just work. They overcome every obstacle and live decades longer than expected. One of the most striking conclusions was the realization that the heliosphere is not a rigid shield, but rather a living membrane. It breathes in time with solar cycles, pulsates from galactic pressure, and reacts to the space around it. This means that the boundary is constantly shifting, expanding during peaks of solar activity and contracting during periods of calm. These measurements open a new window into the rhythms of our galactic street. Voyager 2 showed that the true edge of the solar system is not where gravity or planetary orbits end, but where the Sun's influence ends. This transition is not one of ownership, but of interaction. Crossing it, the probe became an interstellar traveler, reflecting a shift in our very understanding of our place in the universe. Now NASA is planning its next mission, Interstellar Probe, based on the legacy of Voyager, but with new technologies and speeds. However, no device can replace the uniqueness of Voyager 2's data. It is a one-of-a-kind moment in history, captured at that precise moment, in those conditions, on behalf of all humanity. Beyond the scientific facts, there is also philosophy. The sun, once all-pervading, now barely whispers. In this silence, Voyager 2 listens to the echoes of distant galaxies and ancient particles. It has left the world we have formed and entered alien space. And yet, through this tiny probe, our voice, our search, our desire to know and go further can be heard. The heliopause is not the end, but the beginning, the beginning of direct contact with the galaxy. Every signal from Voyager 2 is a whisper from the unknown, from a world that previously existed only in our imagination. Now we know the solar system is a ship sailing across a much larger ocean, and we have only just begun to see its shores. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. What do you think Voyager 2 will discover at the edge? Thanks for watching, and see you next time.